I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor of AutoVision News, and this is AutoSense Insights. We're speaking today with Cliff DeLocht, who is the Regional Marketing Manager for Malexis. And Cliff, it's great to see you and, and get caught up with you here again. Hi, Carl. It's great to see you again. How are you doing? I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing well. I, I enjoyed our talk in, in Brussels just about a year ago, so I, I'm yes. excited to get caught up on everything that's going on. But, but before we get into some of the recent news with Malexis, can you just give us an overview of the company? Tell us a little bit about Malexis. Okay, so um, Malexis is a global company, uh, mainly working for automotive customers. More than 90% of the Malexis turnover is in, uh, is in uh, automotive uh, sensors uh, and motor drivers uh, and uh, embedded lighting uh, products. Um, sensors is the biggest portfolio of that. So I'm one of the regional marketing managers. I'm myself responsible uh, for the time of flight sensors. Um, and uh, we'll have a talk uh, about it later. Maybe one number just to, yeah, say, give one, one number on Malexis. So last year, uh, Malexis uh, shipped 1.4 billion uh, sensors to our uh, automotive customers. That is, that, is a, that, that is amazing, Cliff. Congratulations on, <laughs> Thank you. on, on, on the accomplishment. And so I, I guess the, the first question I have right away, and I know other engineers may have this same question or, or other people who are maybe just coming to AutoSense for the first time, uh, what exactly is a time of flight sensor? What is time of flight? W what does that mean when you say time of flight? Okay, uh, time of flight is uh, the name of a kind of technology where an optical sensor can see uh, the distance. Uh, so, uh, you know, a normal camera, uh, we call it uh, a 2D camera. Uh, every pixel knows its color or knows its light intensity. Uh, with time of flight, uh, that is also true. Every pixel knows its light intensity, but more importantly, with time of flight, uh, with time of flight cameras, every pixels know the distance to the objects that it sees. So um, yeah, we'll talk about it more uh, in the interview, I guess. So th that, that is a perfect segue to my next question because you actually have some big news to announce. So you have, a, you, you have the official launch of a new 3D time of flight sensor. And it's for interior sensing. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, that was the trigger of the interview. So we unveiled here uh, the launch of a new sensor for driver monitoring and uh, interior sensing uh, in general. The new sensor, uh, Carl, has a quarter VGA resolution. So uh, 320 by 240 pixels. Um, and the technology is, uh, as we said, 3D optical uh, time of flight. The name of the device is MLX75026. Now, uh, this sensor is uh, part of our third generation uh, of time of flight sensors family. And uh, the sensor that we are launching now already has a bigger brother or sister uh, in the market that we launched uh, last year. Um, and so both parts, uh, they can be used more or less for the same uh, use cases, but um, the difference is that, okay, with quarter VGA, you have a little bit less resolution, but a more cost effective, um, I would say, sure. system uh, that can be used, for instance, for customers' basic offers in the market. And then for premium offers in the market, you, you could go to its counterpart, uh, the VGA re resolution uh, time of flight sensors that we launched last year. Right. So, so this new sensor, Cliff, this new time of flight sensor, what is its positioning in the time of flight in the time of flight portfolio for Malexis? Because it, if, if you're moving over a, a billion sensors a, as of last year, or so help us understand a little more. Where does this new sensor fit? Where is it positioned in the portfolio for Malexis? Okay, so uh, time of flight is, uh, I would say, one of the technologies of Malexis. The 1.4 billion is pointing to all technologies together. I hope we would have done 1.4 billion time of flight sensors. That's not the case. Yeah. But with time of flight, we also made a milestone. So we, uh, uh, we, we shipped uh, more than 1 million uh, pieces uh, of time of flight sensors for uh, interior sensing. So exactly the applications we, we, we are talking about now. And um, yeah, the position in the portfolio is the third um, 
a generation, uh, the generation one and the generation two is already in production. And so we look forward uh, after this launch um, to uh, also go in production with both the quarter VGA part that we launched today and then the VGA part that we launched last year. So let's let's talk about use cases. You had mentioned that just a, a, a minute ago. So with this newly launched time of flight sensor, with this third generation sensor, what are some of the best use cases for it right now? Okay, well, first of all, um, the goal of a time of flight camera is to do many use cases with a single camera. Uh, that is important to, to, to realize and there are multiple groups uh, of use cases. So first group uh, of use cases is driver monitoring. Then I'm thinking about uh, applications like uh, head pose, uh, eyes uh, off the road, uh, eyes open close. Uh, so these kind of uh, applications that are there to determine or driver fatigue or the driver attention level. Um, so by the way, I would uh, invite uh, I would invite you and also the viewers to take a look at the Malexis YouTube channel uh, because there is a 40 second movie uh, on uh, interior sensing. Uh, I would say algorithms on exactly these these algorithms that show uh, uh, head pose and uh, and eye gaze performance. Uh, so I would say have a look. So that was the first group, dr driver monitoring. The second group, those are additional use cases like uh, body positioning, body um, segmentation, and that is used, for instance, for uh, airbag control. Okay. Uh, then the third group that I want to mention here um, are more user experience uh, related use cases like hand position, hand movements um, that, uh, that help the intuitive driver car uh, interactions, like for instance, opening the sunroof um, by doing so, um, and so on and so on. Sure. So dr driver monitoring, additional safety use cases like body positioning for airbag, and then user experience. Uh, those are the three main groups uh, that we target uh, with this new sensor, Carl. Right. So Cliff, let, let you, we touched on this uh, a little bit, but let's go just a little bit deeper. So th this new sensor, or, or just all of the time of flight sensors in the Malexis portfolio, what are the benefits of the Malexis time of flight sensors? Yeah, so first of all, it is important to know that uh, time of flight 3D cameras, uh, as we call them, unlike 2D cameras, they do not depend on the visual contrast of the scene, uh, the visual contrast or the infrared light contrast. Uh, uh, so if I, if, if I take an example, um, at night, uh, if, your sh if your shirt and the, sh and the seat tissue uh, would look the same, for instance, in near-infrared light. Uh, if you uh, take as a, as a, as, as a reference a near-infrared uh, camera, then the near-infrared camera will have difficult, uh, difficulties to distinguish between the body and the seat, because the tissue for the camera shows, I would say, the same, the same output. Now, with the 3D camera, that is, there is no problem. Um, because we do not look at, at contrast in the scene. We really look at the distance. And because the, the distance from the camera to the body, the distance from the camera to the seat is different, the camera will know, OK, there is a different object or person uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. So that's a bit of an, um, of an introduction. So with the MLX75026 uh, that we are launching, uh, this means that uh, you know the exact distance uh, to more than 75,000 points in the field of view, so in the interior of the car. Uh, and that leads, in the end, for the OEM or for the user, that leads to a very high availability of uh, the use cases that OEMs uh, want to offer um, to the drivers. Sure. So Cliff, tell us a little bit about your customers. When, when customers come to you and, and they want to work with Malexis, what are some of the challenges that they have? What are some of the pain points? What are some of the things that, that you and your product portfolio, what are some of the things that, that what are some of the challenges that you help them solve is, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, um, to answer that, Carl, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good to know that um, because the camera knows uh, the distance uh, and that is quite unique for this um, technology, uh, one of the key benefits that we not yet, uh, that we did not yet mention yet is the distance precision. 
Um, so if you know that distance at a very high precision, and for us, uh, a typical precision is, for instance, one centimeter of distance uh, of, of distance precision at one meter of distance, which is uh, which is one percent. Uh, with this kind of, of, of distance precision, your algorithms that run on top of the camera, that do the detection, that do the, the segmentation, uh, that do the classification in the end, um, those algorithms uh, will be able to provide a very high quality output. So a high true positive rate, uh, a high correct uh, detections, correct segmentations and so on. And that's where we think is really the sweet spot of the time of flight technology and of our new product uh, sp specifically, uh, because the, uh, the use case quality um, yeah, is, is, is very high. So Cliff, let's say that I'm working in the automotive industry. I'm watching this video right now. Um, where do I go to find more information on Malexis? Yeah, so the first point I would say is the Malexis web website. Uh, there you find loads of information, articles, data sheets, uh, also the background on the technology, the, the, the question you asked uh, in the beginning, you'll find it there. Uh, the Malexis YouTube channel um, I mentioned, um, and then we also, uh, I would say, uh, offer uh, local support for worldwide customers. So on, on every continent, we uh, uh, you find our application engineers that will gladly come in contact. And I personally, I will also be uh, very happy to get in touch with, uh, with the viewers uh, of this interview. Cliff, uh, thank you for that. And so just in, in the last few minutes that we have, is there anything you'd like to add? Is, is there anything that we may have, have missed? Is there anything that you'd like to cover that, that we didn't get to yet? Yeah, um, I think um, as, uh, yeah, as a team at Malexis, uh, we are there to uh, support you. A time of flight camera system is not an easy system. It takes hardware, it takes some software. Um, so together with our uh, ecosystem third parties for software, for hardware. Uh, we can really offer a full solution to the customer. So that's for sure something uh, I would like to say. And to end a bit with what we started with, uh, the time of flight family. So having the quarter VGA and the VGA uh, sensors uh, in the same technology, virtually identical uh, parts. The only difference is the number of pixels in the end. Uh, that really leads to, I would say, uh, basic premium and future proof offers that uh, our customers can build upon that. And so Cliff, I, I just, I just want to recap one more time, just from my own understanding. And just because I think it's a tremendous accomplishment of, of all the sensors in the Malexis family, you moved over a billion last year. And then there was a, about a million time of flight sensors specifically. Did I understand yes. that right? Yeah. Yeah. Tre tremendous, tre 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 tremendous accomplishment. Um, congratulations. Uh, from all of us here at, at, at AutoSense, uh, we wish you the best of luck going forward, especially with this new product line. And we look forward to catching up with you again at, at a conference here uh, sometime down the road. Okay, thank you also, uh, Carl. Speaking today with Cliff DeLocht from Malexis. For more AutoSense content, visit our hub or visit our YouTube channel by searching AutoSense. Thank <music> you.